Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel Archituber. I am Architect Webhavi and I make content related to architecture and interiors. If you are new here, please take a moment and subscribe to my channel below. I have been posting quite regularly about the Nata preparation series. If you haven't watched the previous videos, please do give it a watch. And in this video, we are going to be discussing about the quantitative questions. So it is a very important topic for Nata preparation. So many questions have been asked in the examination on the same topic so please stay tuned and let us start with the video now let us discuss about the quantitative questions of nata 2024 so first question is six friends are sitting around a circular table at equal distance from each other sita is sitting two places right of gita who is exactly opposite to nita and nita is on immediate left to lata who is exactly opposite to rita Mita is also sitting at the table, then who is the person sitting between Sita and Gita? So, uh, when you are given such questions or situation questions, you have to first re read the question, okay? Read the question two to three times. Now, I am reading it carefully and you have to underline the important parts. There are six friends, okay, with a circular table at equal distance. These are three main words that I can find till now. Then um, Sita is sitting two places right of Gita, who is exactly opposite to Nita. Then again, Nita is on immediate left to Lata, who is exactly opposite to Rita. Mita is also sitting at the table and who is the person sitting between Gita and Sita. Now what I will do is, I will write the given situation over here one by one. Okay, so First is six friend circular table I have written. Then we have Sita sitting two places right of Gita. Okay. Third is who is exactly opposite to Nita. So Gita is opposite to opposite to Nita. Then we have Nita on the immediate left to Lata. Nita left to Lata. Okay. Then fifth is who is Lata is exactly opposite to Rita. Rita. Lata is opposite to Rita. Then Mita is also sitting. So Mita is there. Then who is sitting in between Gita and Sita? We have to find this. Now let's draw a circular table first. Okay. And this one chair, two chair, three, four, five and six. Okay. Now let's start from first situation. This is stick. Okay. Then Sita is two places right of Gita. So two places right of Gita. So if I place Gita over here and from there after two places from considering Gita as well. One and two. Sita is Sita is sitting two places right to Gita clockwise. Okay. Then Gita's opposite is Nita. So I will place Nita over here. Nita is on immediate left to Lata. Lata's opposite is Rita. This is Rita. And Mita is also sitting. So Mita is here. So what we have been asked, we have done these um, given solutions. And then we have to find who is sitting between Gita and Sita. So this is Gita and this is your Sita. So who is in between them? Rita. So A is the answer. This is the simple way that you can solve this question. So now let us discuss about the question number two. A carpenter increases the length of a rectangular photo frame by 8% and reduces the width by 10%. Overall percentage change in the area of the frame is what? So we have to find the new area or the decrease of area. Okay. So let us start. So this is the photo frame. Consider. Okay. This is the width. This is the length. And then on uh, the carpenter adds 8% of the length, which is a new length, which is added. So this is length new. And then the width decreases by 10%. Okay. So this is the new frame. Okay. Width new so eventually what is happening from the original width it is getting minus okay and new length is added to the existing length so it is getting plus 
okay so now what is the area of rectangle area is equal to l into w so we have 8% so existing area now let's find out our new length first and new width first so for new length l new is equal to l which is our old length plus 8% 8% means how much 8 divided by 100 which comes to 0 0.008 okay so 0 0.008 l okay so which comes to this is 1 okay 1 1.08 l same goes with width width new your width which is your 1 minus your 10% which comes up to 0 0.10 okay so it is your 0 0.90 width okay now we have length and width okay so let's add it to areas formula directly 1.08 l into 0 0.90 width which comes up to 0.972 length width okay but now we have to find the percentage that has been changed in the frame so what we have to do is new area minus area so this is our new area so 0.972 minus 1a which comes up to minus 0.028 so now we have to find the percentage change so what we will do is we will just multiply this by 100 so which comes up to minus 2.8 okay so let us discuss about the third question a mother is twice as old as her son if 20 years ago the age of the mother was 10 times the age of the son what is the present age of the mother so let's read it again and highlight the important topic Pick a mother is twice as old as a son. If 20 years ago mother was 10 times the age of the son, what is mother's present age? Mother's present age. Okay. And in this we have given M means your mother and S means son. Okay. Okay. So let's form first equation your mother is twice as old as her. So, so this is your first equation then in this equation we will be needing to form a linear equation okay so m minus 20 because 20 years ago the mother was 10 times okay equal to 10 times of son's age and which was 20 years ago so this your equation will be formed okay so now whenever you are starting with the linear equation if this is the case first multiply this so 10 s minus 200 okay and m minus 20 so your equation will become minus 20 your 200 will go here which will become plus 200 and 10 s minus 2 s why 2 s because your m is equal to 2s so we put 2s over here even here it should be 2s okay so we have this equation so it is your 180 and 8s okay correct 180 divided by 8 is equal to s so s comes up to 22.5 if son is 22 and half then what is the age of mother which is twice as old as her son so this is the formula we got so m is equal to 2 into 22.5 that means his mother is 45 years old so let us discuss about uh, the fourth question the speed of a boat in still water is 5 km if the speed of the boat against the stream is 3 km then we have to find what is the speed of the stream okay so we have given the speed of the boat in still water which is 5 km we have been given this thing okay so right over here your first equation 
then your second equation is boat against the stream is 3 kilometers write that and we have to find the speed of the stream write that also okay now so we will have to find out the boat speed in still water minus the uh, boat against the stream then you will get the actual speed of the stream okay so using the values that we have speed of the uh, speed of the boat against stream equals to speed of the boat in still water minus speed of the stream so we have this which is um 3 kilometers per hour okay then we have in still water 5 kilometer per hour and we have uh, we have to find out this so 5 kilometer per hour minus 3 kilometer per hour which becomes up to 2 kilometer per hour so the speed of the stream is 2 kilometer per hour okay so now let's discuss question number 5 what is the area of a triangle with base 5 meters and height 10 meters so this is your triangle with the base 10 meter or uh, base 5 meters and height 10 meters we have to find the area of a triangle okay so we have to find the area so what is the formula for area of rectangle area of rectangle equals to half into base into height right so we have half into base is 5 this is 10 so 50 by 2 which means 25 is the area okay so we have 25 square meter of the area which matches the option number 3 okay so it is a very basic question okay so let us start with this question what is the probability of getting an even number when dice is rolled so let us discuss have you seen a standard six sided dice which has six surfaces okay so we have 1 5 2 4 3 6 okay and what is the probability of getting an even number on a dice so how many even numbers are present on this dice so so there are three even numbers okay and total how many numbers are there total six numbers are there so 3 by 6 which is possibility by total uh, so it comes to 1 by 2 right so therefore the probability of getting an even number when a dice is rolled is 1 divided by 2 which is option number 2 okay so let us discuss about this equation in a project the share of material and labor costing is 3 to 2 the labor component in which the electrician gets 5% what is the total project cost if an electrician gets 25000 so let us start reading it again in a project the share of material and labor costing is 3 is to 2 the component labor component uh, the electrician gets 5% and what is the total project cost if an electrician gets 25000 from the labor component so let's consider total project cost as t then material cost your 3x we have to make a linear equation again then your labor cost is 2x okay so now we have given 5% to electrician okay so 5% means how much 5 by 100 comes to 0.05 okay and now if we make a equation out of it 0.05 percent into 2x 2x for the labor cost equals to we have already given 25000 so we will get x for this equations okay so 
we have to multiply this so here 2 into 0 0.05 becomes 0 0.1 x which is equal to 25,000 so x equals to 25,000 divided by 0 0.1 which becomes 2 lakh 50,000 okay so your value for the x is 2 lakh 50,000 I'll just highlight this okay now we have to calculate the labor ratio okay which is 2x 2x okay which means 2 into 2 lakh 50,000 which is 5 lakhs so the, in the question it is written the electrician gets 25,000 from the total labor cost so minus 25,000 which comes up to 4,75,000 for the labor cost, remaining labor cost. Okay. Now we have to find what? The total project cost. So the equation will be total project cost is equal to material cost plus labor cost. Okay. So 3x is there and x is our 250 so 3 into 2 lakh 50 thousand plus your labor cost is now 4 lakh 75 thousand okay and this comes up to 7 lakh 50 thousand so your material cost is 7 lakh 50 thousand okay plus your labor cost 4 lakh 75 thousand if you add this you get total project cost of 12,50,000 okay so A is the correct answer so now let us discuss about this question a linear scale of map is 1 cm by 2 cm the drawing of dimensions on site of rectangular plot measuring 25 meter by 40 meter which will be so we have to find the actual drawing dimensions okay so we have the scale of 1 cm equal to 2 cm so we have width of the plot so this is your plot this is your width and this is your length so length is 40 width is 25 okay so let's uh, and this is your 1 is to 2 right so let's discuss the width first 25 into 1 by 2 so it comes to 12.5 we are scaling down okay so that's why I have divided this thing and then again for length we are going to be doing same 40 into 1 by 2 which is 20 so what is the actual plot in centimeters 12.5 centimeter by 20 centimeter C is the correct answer it is very simple okay okay so i have some of the exercise questions for you okay so you try to solve them and do let me know if you want me to make a video on on this as well so please do let me know your thoughts and if you have any queries please do let me know in the comment section below so we have discussed about eight questions okay and if you have any queries you can ask me in the comment section below Try the problems that I have given you to solve and if you have any queries related to that you can ask me in the comment section below as well and if you want me to solve them for you type yes in the comment section below. You know the drill please like comment share with the Nata aspirants and do not forget to subscribe please subscribe to the channel and I will see you in my next video till then please take care and bye.